put a lot of sugar in it. Yeah, yeah, I have, I'll I love my coffee with sugar. I, I can't have, if I drink coffee, sometimes the coffee can knock me out for the whole day. Get your boy. What's up, kid? Tell them my mind. Yeah, one time is better. We from the East Coast, thanks. Okay. okay. New York, New Jersey. My whole family from the uh, Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens. Yeah, my dad, but my, not my dad, my dad's brother from upstate. There it is. I've been in New York one time. I've been one time too and I got locked up and I ain't never going back. Look, the only time I remember, the <laughs> only thing I remember about it, I was panhandling there too that day. I was in front of the Apollo. Oh, you sort of get arrested. And the dude, <laughs> for real? Yeah, dude, give me three $100 bills. Damn. Come to find out, he's one of the dudes that worked for Jay Z. Well, you know Jay Z, man, he a big time homosexual. Yeah, I know that. All the rappers. Why do you think Lil Wayne kicks baby in the mouth? Yeah. Ooh. Lil Wayne looks like a homosexual. We want to look at him. Yeah, even if I give him that, I'm not calling him that. Yeah, because that's, that's how they do it. That's how they do it when you get, they get you in there and you name molest you. You hear about all the kids. Lil Wayne, yeah. if you call Lil Wayne, he came out when he was like real young. Yeah, of course. So you forced the dude to got him when he was young, was raping him when he was young. But now, look, now, now he's grown up. Now Lil Wayne is raping and uh, raping people. You know what? When he was raping them, you know what the anesthetic was that, that numbed the pain? That money. Oh, yeah. That's like, money. Uh, that was the anesthesia. That's they like, uh, they all on drugs anyway. They said it came out in the paper. What was that? Boy Group B2K? Yeah. Oh, they got, they got video. Oh, yeah. They got vid do got videos on YouTube when they he tells you. Me. About how his uh, the, I don't know all their names, but the, he said the head dude was raping you know, him Raz, every day. Yeah, Raz B. He yeah. was raping him. He said it's Marcus the, used to a little bit. Damn. You can tell Marcus Zeus in the fact that he was on the show and them bitches was digging him. Yeah, he he, he would. That's the fact. Yeah. But, but we came up here. We, I everywhere you. I be wanting to fuck people like twins. Yeah, the twins. twins what they tell you in the mirror. So y'all read the Bible. I'm getting the game. I get I'll ask you a question. I'm gonna ask you a question. You love America? Do like so you, so you think it's okay for uh, all these faggots to be walking around freely? Do you think they should be arrested? No. You, what do you think the Bible says you're supposed to do with a faggot? Because everywhere you look, every other person's a goddamn faggot now. What are you supposed to, What does the Bible say to do with a faggot? You don't know? I'm going to show you real quick. Persecuting. What does it say about persecution? I'll show you. Hold on. I got it. Oh, he got it. He's going to read it to you. But you can't do it. I'm gonna, I want you to get yeah. a law. Because y'all know the Supreme Court just passed a law saying it's pretty much legal for faggots to get married and yeah, get benefits. Get claim each other as a couple on your tax returns. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, you can be a faggot in the military and you get uh, extra money and shit for being a faggot. Right. Go oh ahead. Here you go, Leviticus. Uh, this is Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman. Both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. So the Bible said they got, I keep going, there's more to it. Their blood shall be upon them. Read the last part of it, read it again, all the way through. If a man also lies with mankind as he lieth with a woman, <laughs> both of them have committed an abomination. Hold on, let me write that. They shall surely be put to death. Keep going. Their blood shall be upon Their them. Their blood shall be upon them. So is there a punishment for being a faggot in America? No. There like is no punishment. Shit. You get they benefits. Like if you a faggot in America, pay you, you get you get bad. benefits, you get food stamps, you get section eight, all kind of shit. Leviticus 2013. I'll read up the Leviticus 20 and 10. What, what, what's the punishment for adultery? Leviticus 20 and 13. I read that. Read 20 and 10. Was, Leviticus 20 and 10. That's what you're supposed to do to an adulterous woman. And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. That's the right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's L-E-B. That's the heavenly father. That's, the, that's who the world called Jesus 
so-called love everybody. That's him. That's his Lord. So would you say that uh, America is a God-fearing nation and uh, a nation is based upon biblical principles? Or would you say this is the kingdom of Satan? This is the kingdom of Satan. This is the kingdom of Satan. We have our own freedom. What, what freedom to be a faggot? It doesn't Answer. matter who you are. So it's okay. You, okay, so get me off the camera, I'll that's, destroy you. Do not put me on camera. I will destroy you. He's gonna, he's gonna yeah, he's gonna destroy that, bro. You ain't gonna destroy shit. Yeah, why you, are you a homosexual? I'm not a homosexual. And why you get mad? My brother is. You will not address him as a fag. You will address him as Brandon. No, nobody's a yeah, fag. He's a sodomite. Oh, well. Hey, Goddamn bitch. Hey, he's a gay, he's a gay going, bitch. Yeah, yeah man. A gay bitch. So you like you like to kiss your brother fast. He so, probably blew his brother. So that means you hate he God. Blows his brother. You stick your dick in your brother booty. <laughs> that makes you a fag as well. <laughs> so if my brother was a serial killer, I'm supposed to be like, oh, that's my brother. It's okay. I told him he could be stupid. Yeah. yeah. You know Come what on. I mean? Let's do this. Let the little nigga get him. I want him. No, don't worry about these guys, man. How old are you first? You okay. 18? I'm 21. And I'm okay, you are of age to get your ass kicked. <laughs> what you taking your shit off for? Like okay, you in the military. Hey, you know it's okay to be a faggot in the military now, right? You know, you know if you teach the Bible in the Marines now, if you get locked up in the brig, you know that's a long. You know that's. I ain't got shit to do. This first whooping will be somebody to get a rag, a rag water, some soap. No, because they can't have a problem with you in a fight. What's the different nation? I'm going to beat your fat ass. Why Navy you know, Man, you can float. You can't swim. Okay, the Navy's the Navy. He can float. <laughs> what in the motherfucking faggots that sank that song? He can float. Well, if you're in the Navy, you got to wear a bell bottom. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to wear a Cracker Jack outfit. Look at all silly and shit, man. I'm going to buy it. the Navy. Hey, let's get some scriptures. We get some right. <laughs> you need a donation of fucking clothes. Let me get a. Uh, let's get Isaiah three. In a bar, in a bar of uh, in so, a bar of soap. Ivory. Dial. Ivory spring. I got. I got a scripture. Let me get this scripture. Quit mugging me like you're gonna do something. Let me get a scripture, bro. Let's just let the Lord curse him out. Nothing to lose. Isaiah three and nine. Actually, I'm gonna start at eight. Isaiah 3 and 8, for Jerusalem is ruined. Now, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Right now, we among our people, this is Jerusalem right here. For Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is falling. You become a faggot and an adulterer, that means you've fallen. I got a cousin right you there. Away. I told him I just don't even take his That's what you got to do. Hi, everybody. For Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is falling. Because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord to provoke the eyes of his glory. The show of their countenance doth witness against them, and they declare they sin in Sodom, they hide it not. Mm. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. You see scriptures coming now, you see they're walking away. They were waiting for the bus. Yeah. They can't take it, man. Them script, hey, the scriptures cut your soul. What's that? Hebrews, uh, what's that? Hebrews, uh, wait, what that? Uh, um, uh, what is this? Sharper than a two-edged sword. Oh yeah, four and twelve. Yeah, like this scripture right here says that their tongue is against the Lord. Like, who you gonna take up for? Like I said, if your brother's a mass murderer, you, you gonna say that's cool. He's my brother though, so I'm gonna love him more than the Lord since he's my brother. What kind of sense does that make? You know what I'm saying? Just like Cain was Abel's brother, but that mean he wasn't playing evil. You know what I'm saying? So if your brother's a faggot. I mean, he's going against the Most High, and you, you got to curse his ass out. You're not supposed to say, oh, that's my brother. Okay, he's cool because he works for Satan. That doesn't make no sense. That's my brother. I love him. <laughs> and you want to address him? <laughs> Actually, the scripture said that your brother, that your, your enemies are going to be those of your own household anyway. Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of the Most High, your house is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. So, yeah, that's why that dude got so messed up. Because when you bring the truth out of the Bible, see, the truth is raw and uncut. Mm. It, and the truth don't respect nobody. When it comes out, it just comes out as the truth. So you, there's only one truth, all right? There's only one truth, and we're teaching the truth. And when the truth comes out, people get offended, man. Yeah, I, 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 
Right. They soft and they're weak. We got a weak, we got a soft, weak spirit. And that fat bastard had a soft, bitch, bitch-like spirit, a woman-like spirit. And you see how feminine he looked? You know what I'm saying? All flabby and soft and shit. All, all, all feminine. Yeah, he saw a boy with high-pitched voice and shit. Sound like fucking Mickey Mouse. <laughs> right, right. Piercing even to the divided asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is the discerner of the thoughts and the intent of the heart. So we had, we already knew just one look at that fat faggot. We knew he was a weak, soft bitch, man. <laughs> just one look at like, this dude's a real weak bitch, man. So the Lord ain't looking for nobody like that, man. Yeah. All weak and soft and all easily offended, man. You get tired of standing at these motherfuckers. Everybody all weak and shit. All these men is weak and soft. All the men is feminine. This shit coming out, man. This whole weekend, this whole week got a fucking gay ass. All confesses this weekend, confess. Oh, yeah. It was, gay, it was another gay festival this weekend? Yeah, the Pride Festival. Hell yeah, gay and lesbian and, um, and um, transsexual. Yeah, they had a gay pride parade and shit, man. That's, that's, a, that's an a goddamn abomination. Now all these, every last woman out talking about she's bisexual and she's a lesbian. And she's a carpet cleaner. What kind of, that's just madness, man. That's crazy, man. So it make no sense. I mean, it wasn't even 10 years ago it wasn't this bad, but now, like, literally every other person who sees a faggot. Or you always see women couples, women kissing each other, men kissing each other, men looking like dudes. This shit is just confusion out here, man. Number two. This is crazy. This is uh, Matthew 12 and 34. O generation of vipers, how can you being evil speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Yeah, that's what people say. It's okay to be a faggot. That's something that's coming out your heart. Like the woman is always the first one to uh, have gay friends and to, to accept homosexuality. Cause women, all the only thing they deal with is emotion. They don't have it. They don't never uh, deal with sense and logic. You know you what I'm saying? You notice that most women don't have female friends anyway. Yeah, they don't got, got male friends. Uh, yeah. They are with one They ain't even born together. Right, right. Y'all fucking just abominated. Right. Yeah, that's true too, cause they can't get along with each other. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And here, here's you got a faggot hanging. You know, all the faggots' friends will be all women. And they all look good as hell. He don't want to have sex with them. What kind of shit is that? Don't make no goddamn sense. Man. You know what? They do convince him to have sex with them, though. And these women love that freaky shit. Man. They love that freaky shit. They do these like women are freaky, man. Yeah. They freaky as fuck, man. They on some other shit when it comes to getting down. So and you want to talk about club, uh, please the flesh. These women are stuff. They good at that shit, man. Yeah, they're fucking too. Then turn around, they still going to the club together. Right. Then going to the clinic together, the free they clinic together. Clinic. You know? We can go down there. Right, right. You're right. It's all right. They all right with that. They all right with that. It's nothing. That's why there's a, well, that's the most high working though. That's why there's those strands of gonorrhea, syphilis, and chlamydia going around that can't be cured. Thanks to these women. They're so goddamn promiscuous. So damn loose. Promiscuous so hoes. So goddamn wicked. Well, they're, they're very adventurous. <laughs> what's that? What's that mean? They always, they always talk always talking about. I'm adventurous. Right, right. You. Oh, okay. That's that brings to me uh, the book of Titus. Titus tells them has they, they have no discretion. You know, we know. Let me just get it. Yeah. Let me just get it. Well, now that like when a woman. If you be in a relationship, yeah, they call it a relationship. They don't call it being married. I'm in a relationship. Yep, yep, I'm yep. in a relationship. Yep. They good with the yeah, words, ain't they? Yeah. They good with the words. And then, they, yeah, then they think it's okay. They're like, we need some time apart. We're gonna have some, we're just having a little time apart right now. What do you mean? What does that mean? That means this bitch is committing adultery. That's a euphemism for adultery. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, right. God, man, there's a lot of reading. I love reading this too. I'll go ahead and read I it. I might as well just read it all. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Titus 2. I'm just going to start at 1. Uh, but speak thou the things which become a sound doctrine. So we teach a sound doctrine. The word doctrine means to teach. 
Okay, so what we teaching is the right way. Keep going. That the aged men be sober, brave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. The aged woman, woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine. Bitches love these clubs. Wait, ladies' night, Wednesday night. That's tonight, right? Ladies' night. All the clubs are coming to life. Ladies' night. Not a uh, holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine. Teachers of good things. That they may teach the young woman to be sober. Yeah, teach a young woman to be sober. First of all, what, what, women should not be allowed to drink or do nothing at all, really. Yeah, uh, really, right. women That's shouldn't right. be allowed to drink at all. That's right. Okay, That's women, all. no smoking, no drinking, none of that shit, man. No, like, there's nothing worse than seeing a woman smoking a cigarette. That's I, nasty. That then she want, shit. Then bitch want to kiss you. Like, hey. you want to kiss a bitch after she just took a toke on a Newport. That shit straight and stinks, man. Yeah, it stinks. That shit stinks. Look at these big faggots smiling at us, man. It does be so happy fucking faggots. Uh, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. Yeah, that never uh, happened. Uh, 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 what is that? Uh, uh, they love their husband. You, I, don't it say divorce the husband and get child support from that motherfucker? Right, that's right. not what that says? Limitations, that's right. It, it don't say you're supposed to leave them to get child support? To be discreet. Shakes. Oh, to be discreet, that means to be fucking quiet. Shut your ass up. Be, <laughs> man, yeah, women always got to make a show of themselves. They out in public. Think they're going to curse, curse their man out in public? Make their man look stupid? You, you watch these, these bitches uh, boss they men around all the time. Chase, keepers at home. Good. Yeah, you're supposed to stay at home. You ain't supposed to be walking around, going to the club and shit. Right, right. Obedient to their own husband. Yeah, these bitches, they, they say, I never let a man tell me nothing. They be like, I don't need a man. That's why we got that, the, 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 what they call the women's lib. That's why they got it. <laughs> it's like he's playing football, got some tights on. There's so many faggots and shit out here, man. He's actually wearing tights. Right, right, right. That the word of the Most High be not blasphemy. Yeah, because all these people, all they do is blasphemy the Most High. These people's whole life is just one giant blasphemy towards the Most High. Like, the Most High hates every last thing that you do. The Most High <laughs> hates everything about you, ho. He doesn't like a single thing about you. <laughs> Not a motherfucking thing. <laughs> Nothing. Not a... <laughs> it's like, like, we sacrifice everything we do to please the most high, you know what I'm saying? We become a living sacrifice. They seem like these hoes, they dedicate, they dedicate their whole life to the damn devil. Like the most high, he gets mad at you bitches when you eat, when you sleep. Let me go back to that time. You lost my place, man. Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Yeah, I go back to that fat bastard that we uh, was up here earlier. That 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 was a Navy squid that was up here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was in the Marines. We used to make fun of. We used to call all the Navy people fat. What's up? So you read the Bible? You know you don't know the Bible. You know the Bible? Yeah, I have my bag. Oh, for real? What kind of Bible? Bible in your bag? Kind of yeah, I might have actually taken it in my glove compartment. Pull it out, pull it out. It's like one of those little tiny ones with the index in the front, you know, the little, mm -hmm. like the mini ones with the reference tabs. Okay. Yeah, you know. You read your Bible every day? Yeah. What kind of Bible do you have? You got a King James? King James. Oh, shit. I also have this great notebook. It's my assignment notebook, and it has inspirational quotes everywhere. Oh, yeah? So that when you turn, what's today's inspiration for? Yeah, let's hear what. Let's hear it. I want to be inspired. Um, the 
Lord God is with you, he is mighty to save. Simple, yeah. yeah. To the point. To the point, yeah. So the you, next week is, we will tell the next generation the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord. So when you, uh, you go to a church, you just read it on your own? I go to church. Oh yeah, what church you go to? I go to the Indian Old Church of Christ. Oh yeah, what kind of madness are they teaching you? <laughs> what kind of banners? Madness. Oh, madness. Yeah. I can act seven. I mean, we got a scripture for you. Can I read a scripture to you? Sure, absolutely. Give me Acts 7, uh, 48. Come on, my God. That's it. Is that 7 for you? Yeah, read that loud for us. pretty good, right? I certainly hope so. You sure? Uh, you're making me rethink myself. <laughs> <laughs> Acts 7 and 48. How be it, the most high dwelleth not. What's that word again? How be it, the most high dwelleth not. Not. And temples made with hands. You don't understand what that means? How not do you build out of the, How are these churches built? What's that? How are these churches built? By hand, break. right? You don't. Yeah. Uh, they, they, these churches aren't put on an assembly line, are they? No. Right. The Greek being public. Acts seven and forty-eight. Listen, listen carefully. How be it? The Most High dwell of not. The Most High dwell of not. In temples made with hands. Was it a church of temples? No. <laughs> hey, it's a church. The church. Sort of in the cafeteria. Oh, uh, this is like. And says the prophet, heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. The earth is God's footstool. What house will you build me, says the Lord? So what house are you going to build the Lord when the earth is his footstool? So you're the temple of the most high, a body. We're the temple of God. Okay? We're, we're, we're the body of Christ. Okay? So you're pretty much like committing fornication by going to these churches. They're all, you know, your church is probably a 501c3 church also. You ever heard of a 501c3 church? No, I haven't. That means they have an ag agreement and a deal with the government. They're under a tax exempt status, and they have to follow certain guidelines and rules. Like, they can't teach out against certain stuff, and they have to do everything the government says. So it's pretty much a government-sponsored church. Like, for example, the Bible says, a culture is a sin punishable to death. They have no problem with the uh, women in the church who have uh, been divorced numerous times. They have homosexuals in the church. They'll have women preachers, a homosexual preacher, and they, they commit all kinds of madness. They teach you it's okay to eat pork and to uh, defile your body. You eat pork? Not a vegetarian. Oh, that's good to be a vegetarian, especially these days. So, what exactly is your message? We teach you. We give you a. Matthew 15 and 24. We won't read you the message. Well, actually, give me Matthew 10, 5, and 6. This is better. This sums it up a little better. Matthew 10 and 5. This is uh, Matthew 10 and 5. These 12, Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded yeah, them. Yeah, Yahweh Shai, you ever hear, uh, you ever, you know, the Bible wasn't written in English, right? No, it was written in. The Old Testament's in Hebrew. The New Testament's in Greek, right? And it was translated into Latin and German before it was even translated into English. Right, it's a, yeah, because Latin was the language of the Catholic Church. But, uh, so the Lord, the, the, see, Jesus is not the Lord's real name. There's no letter J in the ancient Hebrew. His real name is Yahweh Shai, okay? So that's why you heard him say Yahweh Shai. Let's keep going. Sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. So the Lord said, Don't go into into the way of the Gentiles. Are you a Gentile? I'm sorry? Are you a Gentile? Am I a Gentile? I don't think so. <laughs> All right. That's good. Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. See, that's, that's what the Lord said. He, this is pretty much the Lord's mission statement. This is what he commanded the disciples. He said, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Because so the Israel is the Lord's holy people, okay? And Israel 
was scattered among all nations. And Israel is the most numerous people on the face of the planet. So the Lord scattered the Israelites among all nations. And that's what, so read that again. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So he said go to the Israelites. So he didn't say go to the Edomites. He didn't say go to the Hamites. He didn't say go uh, to the Egyptians. What's your, what's your nationality on your dad's side? Yeah. I'm sorry? What's your nationality on your dad's side? On my dad's side. Mm -hmm. He is German. He's German. Or, well, German-American. Right, right. A lot of the Germans are you. Well, you had the Holy Roman Empire in Germany. Okay, because, yeah. A lot of, yeah, Israel was ruined in Germany during the so-called Dark Age. Does the Germany mean the German means original? Original? Original man? Yeah, I know, yeah, uh, yeah, because man, the word man, that comes from uh, the old way of like saying God in Germany. Okay. Something like, no, okay. something like that. It's been a minute since I looked that up. Yeah. But go ahead, read that again. Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans. Enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So you ask us what we're doing, that's what we're doing. We're telling you the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Lord is going to destroy America, okay? He's going to destroy it from the face of the earth. So, I don't got some scatter, man. Talk about how we get scattered around. Yeah, except for the kingdom of heaven to come in, this place right here can't exist, okay? The kingdom of heaven can't coexist with this shit right here. It's not foul place. Yeah, this is foul. First of all, this place is built in bloodshed. And there's laws on how places are built in house and blood. There's laws on that thing. Okay, but let me rain come down. Um, this is Ezekiel uh, 11 and 16. Therefore say, thus said the Lord power, although I have cast them far off among the heathen. Talking about the Israelites. And although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Yeah, so the Lord scattered the Israelites among all nations. That's a curse for being wicked. Because back in our past lives, your uh, forefathers and ancestors, they was being wicked as hell, they was breaking the commandments. So the Lord said, I'm going to punish you, and I'm going to scatter you among the heathen. You want to be like these heathens? Okay, I'm going to pretty much make you a heathen. You know who the heathens are? Any, any of these that ain't on this list. Any nation that's not on this list is a heathen. Okay. So... German? Well, you got a lot of Israelites. Remember, he said, we read that Israel was scattered amongst the other nations. You ever hear of St. Maurice? I've heard of it. Okay, St. Maurice is on a lot of Germans' coat of arms. You know what a coat of arms is? Like the, oh, the, the, the rich there. families, they always have, they have uh, the stuff they put on their battle ensigns and flags and stuff, right? Like their emblems almost? Yeah, so you got this one guy, St. Maurice. He was, he's on a lot of their coats of arms. He's a black, the original Germans were black. You know that? I believe it. You know, a lot of them were dark skinned people. That's where you get the word more from. You know, the word more means uh, brown. So yeah, you had the Moors were all through Europe. They was all through Ireland, Scotland. Uh, the word Scott means black. You had, so Israel, the original, you know, Christ is a black man. You know that? I, yes, actually oh, you know I that? did. Did you know he was an actual Negro? What you would call a Negro in a day? I've I've heard that, yes. <laughs> and it makes sense, you know, like when you see like in the Catholic Church, he's always Caucasian. It doesn't right. really make sense because. Right. Well, actually, the Catholic Church got a lot of image of him where he's dark as hell. Over in Not the one Pepper, I went to. In Russia. Oh, yeah. Mainly Russia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mainly Russia. Russia, yeah. Russia never destroyed yeah. none of their icons. None they, of their. Because uh, Russia inherited the icons from the Byzantine Empire. You ever heard of the Byzantine Empire? Yeah. Okay, that's where the Israelites ruled in Constantinople for a thousand years. And they used to have images. Oh, if you go up in that, you know where the Hagia Sophia is? No, I don't. This is the main temple in uh, Constantinople. It's still there today. It's like a thousand years old. But they used to have giant icons of all of, of the Lord. And they have pictures of all the, all the saints and all the disciples upon the walls. And it was all dark skin. Daniel 9 and 7. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us, confusion of faces. Confusion of faces. Germany. 
these people were scattered amongst all the other nations. So they're all over Germany. It may look like, you look at an Israelite, you look like a white person, like for example you. You could be an Israelite. You know? A lot of them in Germany are geniuses. You know what I'm saying? A good, good clue is you can't have Bible around. Oh, yeah. Only an Israelite believes in Christ. Yeah, because yeah. the Adamites see. Other nations can care less about it. Yeah, because you got, it ain't all Germans, uh, not all Germans are real Germans. Okay? Right. Not all white people are the same. Half nation. those Germans are so-called Jews, who are not, uh, give me that real quick, Revelation, Revelation. 39. Because this go into uh, yes, sir, my Europe and Central Europe. Because you got a lot of them Khazars who came into uh, Europe. Like a lot of, that's why a lot of them Germans hate those Jews. Right. Uh, Revelation 2 and 9. Oh, 2 and 9. Yeah, read that. Because you have a lot of them Khazars, they came through. That's why a lot of Jewish people today, to this day have a German last name. They have German names. That's why uh, 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 so-called Jews, they call black people Schwarzer. It's like the term they use to call refer to black people, but that's a German word. It means black, you know what I mean, or brown. All right. uh, read that. Revelations 2 and 9. I know that works and tribulation and poverty but thou art rich so most of the israelites were poor as hell we don't have any money we're all broke you know what i mean but we're rich because we have this knowledge this is real knowledge keep going and i know the blasphemy of them would say they are jews you know the blasphemy of them to say they are jews who's that the so-called jews in the state of israel over there they over there uh oppressing the palestinians keep going so blasphemy Okay, it says blasphemy. I know the blasphemy of them would say they are Jews. They stole our identity. And they're not. And they're not. They're not Jews. Keep going. But are the synagogue of Satan. They're the, they're the synagogue of Satan. Hey, give me Hosea. Uh, I don't know that every time we read it, man. Give me a Hosea 1 and 10. I always get this scripture, bro. I'm going to read that real quick. I'll get Hosea. Behold. Oh, you got Hosea 1 and 10. Go ahead, read that. Go ahead, read that. Read that. Okay, this is, it says it twice in the book of Revelation. Revelation 3 and 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. Everybody wants to be Jews, but the people that's on the list. So how do you think if you had like a handmaiden to do all your work for you? How does that sound? If I had a handmaiden to do all my work Would you like someone yeah. to carry you around? Uh, and so really, you have to step on this, really this, this cancer-causing, uh, spine-destroying... I don't think it would be fair to make somebody else, of course. Well, what if they want to do it, though? Yeah, well, they'd be happy what to do it. What if they want to do it? And it pleases them to serve you.